Hello everyone, welcome to Twinkie Bits Tech. And thank you for watching the third part of the build video. Here the uh, the parts are starting to come together and resemble an actual computer. I spent a long, long time doing a lot of the, a lot of the tubing and drilling holes into the case for mounting the reservoirs and the pumps. Due to the amount of time I took, um, the camera actually ran out of battery halfway through, so I'm, I'm missing a bunch of that footage, so I apologize for that. I'm, we're going to go straight to the part where the loop is beginning to take shape. For the reservoir and pump combo, I'm using the AlphaCool D5250mm reservoir that has a top attached to it. So you can just plug your pump in and you will have a reservoir and pump combo. In my computer, I'm mounting it on the mid plate simply because it is easier to position how far it is from the, uh, the back of the uh, case and the front of the case. This way you can kind of move it forward and backwards a little bit. Whereas um, the other way of mounting it is to mount on the uh, on the vertical part of the case that's next to the motherboard tray. The pump and reservoir combo also comes with brackets that let you attach it to the back wall of the case. I just chose not to use it. For this particular build, I've decided to do, since the case is so big, I've decided to do a do loop. One loop will be the reservoir and pump on the right, and it'll go through the monoblock for the CPU and go to the Alpha Cool 360 millimeter radiator on the front of the case. The other loop will go into the mid plate, go to the 480 millimeter radiator at the bottom, come back up, and go through the carts in parallel. This is the first time I've done a do loop configuration and typically a D5 pump is powerful enough to, to drive through maybe two radiators that are 360 a piece and two cards and a CPU. So for this particular loop that I have, one D5 is probably enough However, since the, the case is so big, when I first considered doing one pump and I put it in the case, it looked so empty. I kind of had to add something to it and I, th I thought the best way to do that was to just do another loop. Do one loop for the graphics card and one loop for the CPU. For the tubing to pass through in the mid plate, I used a step bit with my handheld battery power drill. And the step bit is basically a tool that allows you to drill holes of various sizes. In order to, to drill the hole I using the step bit, I recommend first drilling a hole of a relatively small diameter. That way it's a lot easier to keep it centered and just it's a lot easier to just kind of enlarge the hole to the size that you desire instead instead of just going in with the step drill and starting off with the step drill. Here the the plan for the two loops was that for the bottom loop, the uh, the one with the GPU and the 480 millimeter radiator at the bottom, I was going to add a a T splitter fitting at the bottom at the exit one of the uh, outlets of the radiator, the bottom outlet of the radiator, and then I was going to add one of these uh, bits power valve fittings, so that I can make the job of uh, draining the system a little bit easier. For the CPU loop. I decided to add the uh, the T fitting at the outlet of the pump. That way, I can it's it's kind of at the lowest point of the 
of the loop, that way draining will be a little bit easier. With the 360 radiator that's in the CPU loop, I have the tubing going in through the top and also coming out from the top. So thankfully this radiator does have a drain valve at the opposite end so I can just add a a uh, kind of a draining cap. I don't really have a, a third valve fitting at the moment. So I was just going to use a, I was probably just going to, if I need to drain it, I'll just put some sort of container underneath, underneath and then just open up the drain valve. For these systems, I would say the the most the part that at least for me I need to spend more time on is probably planning the loop. Um, when I first started water cooling, I would always or not always, but I I would sometimes spend the minimum amount of time planning, and then after I pour in the liquid and I have the tube running, and then I have to drain it for whatever reason, I realize that the the configuration of the loop is not optimal for draining and that can cause quite a bit of headaches because draining can be very very difficult with all these radiators, all these blocks that can hold a lot of coolant. So I would highly recommend if you're kind of a beginner water cooling enthusiast or kind of a novice at this, I would definitely recommend spending a good amount of time planning out your loop and getting advice on your loop before starting. And definitely, definitely plan out the way to A, fill your loop and B, to drain your loop. For me, making a water cooling loop one of the most time consuming part is always bending the tubing. I do not have perhaps perhaps it just I, I just need to practice a little bit more, but I do still have a relatively difficult time bending a lot of the tubing and I have a difficult time measuring how much um I have to leave in between bends for some of these um some of these multiple bend tubes. I did try to get a a tool from I believe it was it was uh, Alpha Cool that lets you bend the tube to a certain amount of degrees, like 90 degrees, 180, 45 degrees, and those certainly help. I would definitely recommend you bending, unless you're a super super experienced expert at bending. I would definitely recommend using some sort of tool to help you bend the tubing to a correct degree. When these when these plastic tubes bend and then when they cool, they tend to kind of shrink and then rebound a little bit. So if you if you need it to get to 90 degrees and you don't have a tool, definitely bend it a little bit over 90 degrees so that when it cools down and it it kind of shrinks back, it'll go back to 90. If you bend it to 90 while it's hot and then it cools, it's probably going to shrink and go back to just below what you need. I hope you've enjoyed this video so far, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.